Hey YouTube, it's Naya Nappy, and I'm back for another Tip Tuesday. Now this week we are doing a video highly requested by you, and this is our DIY aloe vera oil. Now I saw a lot of DIY aloe vera oils on YouTube, but it looked like they were destroying some of the nutrients in the heating up process. So I wanted to show you guys a really effective way to infuse the aloe vera into the oil, maintain its nutrients, and you know get some of those wonderful benefits and properties on our hair and our skin. Now a lot of you guys know that aloe vera contains a lot of antifungal, antibacteria, anti-irritant, anti-inflammatory, basically anything that's bad for you. It can help fight and give you a lot of moisturizing properties. It's also really healing for skin, dry and itchy skin, people who suffer from eczema, burns, the list goes on and on. So I'll go ahead and show you how to make this oil. And just to note that a lot of people who don't like aloe vera gel really love this particular oil. So let's go ahead and get to mixing and I'll tell you about some more benefits and how to use it on your hair and skin. So let's get started. So we're going to begin with our aloe vera plant by rinsing off the plant and removing any of the labels and stickers because we're going to use the whole entire plant so we want this to be nice and clean. Now go in on the middle section and cut that section into two. We really want the one that's very fleshy and thick that has a lot of that gel in it and then cut off the sides of it and then slice the aloe vera pretty thin. We're talking about a quarter of an inch thick. Now do the same with the other slice as well. So notice this nice sticky gel inside. This is going to be really important when we infuse into the oil. So make sure you have some good slimy pieces. Now go ahead and add your aloe vera slices to a measuring cup or mason jar. And next up is sunflower oil. Now we're going to add one cup of sunflower oil to this mixture. And sunflower oil is a ceramide rich oil. I'm gonna be doing a video on that later on, but this is really important for healthy moisturized skin and hair. Next, we're going to add coconut oil. We're gonna be adding half a cup of coconut oil. Now we know coconut oil can penetrate into the hair shaft and skin. If you don't like this oil, you can alternate this with babasu oil. Now that the aloe vera is completely covered with the oils, you're going to use a double boiler on the stove and add your container into the water. And now we're going to turn this on very, very low and let this simmer for about one hour. After an hour, you'll notice that the aloe vera leaves have turned a brownish color. The gel has a little bit of a pinkish brownish tint around the sides. And we know it's time to turn that off and let that cool down just a little bit. Once the mixture has cooled down some, we're going to weigh out our mixture. So place this on your scale, plus tear, and then, then pour the aloe vera oil into another mason jar. Once it's filled up, we know we have about 230 grams of this. And this is important because we're going to add a preservative to this mixture. We'll be adding 1% and we'll be using Optifin. Now 1% of 230 grams is 2.3 grams of Optifin. So I'll be using my pipette to measure this amount out. So go ahead and shake this up. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of essential oils to this. I'm gonna keep the mixture real basic so I can experiment or play around with it if I like. And I'm going to add 2.3 grams of rosemary essential oil. Shake this up for the last time. And then you can decant this into a smaller oil bottle for everyday use. Now that you have your aloe vera oil made, you can use it in a number of ways. You can use this on your hair directly on your scalp. Now, if you're on the MSN Hair Grow Challenge with us, you can add some MSN to this oil and then use that focus it directly on your roots. Give yourself a nice, good massage with this. Um, if you wanna add some more scents to it, remember we left this scented very lightly because we wanna use this on our skin as well. So you can focus that mainly on your roots if that's what you prefer. You can also use this on the length of your hair, using this as a sort of pre-poo treatment for, your, for the length of your hair strands. It adds a lot of shine and moisture to your hair. I found this also can be easily mixed with some of your favorite products. Even though there's aloe already infused in this product, let's say you had a product that didn't have it, you can go ahead and use that cream 
add a few drops of your aloe oil, mix that together, okay? And then apply that on your hair. Using aloe vera down the length of our hair is very important for moisturizing and repairing dry strands. It contains vitamins A, C, and E, and most importantly, B12 and folic acid, which are important components of having a healthy scalp and healthy hair. This can also help fight hair fall and encourage hair growth. This gives the hair lots of shine and some serious moisture. Another great benefit is that it can be used on your skin. If you're suffering from eczema or any forms of dermatitis and breakouts, like y'all know I do suffer from eczema, you can use that particularly on, you can spot treatment or use this overall as a nice conditioning treatment for your skin. For me, I get eczema around my mouth. So if I have any type of flare ups, I'll definitely go in, use that oil right on those areas, highlighting and focusing in on that. The enzymes and fatty acid content found in aloe vera is helping to reduce inflammation in skin and the scalp. Okay, if you've ever used aloe vera oil before, let me know down below how you use it in your hair or skin regimen. Don't forget to subscribe and share with any of your friends who are looking for some of the wonderful benefits of aloe vera and can benefit from making this easy DIY video. And if you guys have any questions about how to make the aloe vera oil or preserve the aloe vera oil, leave it down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and share with any of your friends who are looking for a great DIY that is great for their hair and skin, it has a lot of healing and moisturizing benefits and properties and if you guys want to learn more about ayurvedic herbs definitely click the link up here if you want to learn how to make an ayurvedic conditioner bar which is a zero waste product and very moisturizing for your hair check out this video right here but that's it for this week i'll see y'all next time bye <laughs>